My fermentations are complete, so it's time to start bottling. I'll give it to you straight. Bottling is boring. Between rinsing and sanitizing everything, it's a lengthy process. Here I'm mixing some star sand together. Many experienced home brewers prefer kegging over bottling, but I find that it's easier to share a bottle than a keg. This is table sugar. I'm adding three quarters of a teaspoon to every bottle. This restarts fermentation in the bottle, known as bottle conditioning, releasing more CO2, carbonating our beverage. Fermentation will eat all the simple sugars, which is why I use stevia, a complex sugar, as my sweetener. A quarter teaspoon per bottle. But Uncle Trevor, what if I want to use a syrup and don't like the taste of stevia? For that, we'll use potassium sorbate, an enzyme used to stop yeast production. After mixing, give it a day before adding sugar. Add your caps and use your bottle capper. And after far too long, you're done.